Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's making a great weekend. And we're kicking into April. You're going to love it. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to master, reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 119, Nasdaq's up 15, S&P's up 2.5, gold contract down $23.80, trading at 19.25 an ounce. We have silver off 36 cents, $24.76 an ounce. Light sweet crew down 81 cents, $99.49 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 23 ticks, trading 122.04. The 30 year off 16 ticks at 149.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar's trading up. Let's see, where are you, King Dollar? There you are. King Dollar's up 307, trading at 98.619. The euro is at 110, the yen is at 122.59, and the British pound is at 131 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, this is a pretty clean chart, folks, when you take a look at what we have out here. So what we did out here yesterday, you know, picture it. Well, first off, let, let's take a look at the type of retracement you have. Okay, so when we take the highs to the lows, you're going to see that we did almost a 0.786 retracement. That's, that's a huge bounce. That's a very strong bounce, and that's saying that you will not go break the low on the way next street down, the next leg down. That's only the first leg. That's how that works, okay? Because then you're going to take the fib number off the last high that we had, not the high, the last high that we had inside the SPY, you'd go at the 462. That being said, I would, this is on a daily, so then we had the expansion of volume yesterday. Then we take this, and you're going to put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see on the weekly is that bottom line is that you got over your two highs that were generated out here the week of the uh, 4th of February as well as the 11th. Bottom line, you, well, let's say, so we got up to 462. Those numbers were 457 and 458. And you're going to close at 451. So you get to a higher high, you close under it, and you have higher, uh, lighter volume. 629 million we were going into, you only did 406. That is the perfect setup, folks, that number one, you know, you're going back to this bottom. And, you know, we'll see uh, how this shakes out, meaning, if I'm correct, on the way down. The NDX 100. Now, the NDX 100 has been the weakest indice anyway, when we take a look at the SPY or the NDX. NDX did the same thing. The Qs yesterday had an expansion of volume. And if we pull this up, let me do this one because I want to see the amount of. Okay, so also with that, okay, the NDX, you know, also was almost at a 0.618. Okay, so that's still strong too. Uh, we put, we take this. We're going to put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see is going to be the same type of setup. Uh, bottom line is that you got into. Let's see if we got over. What do we get to? We got to 371. Yeah, we got over both of them again. You got over both of them, and let's see, 429 million versus 301. Oh yeah, it's not even close, man. So what you have here is this: you got over the swing point, you had light of volume, rejected low, low, higher price. We're going right back to these lows. I suspect where we're going. And I was talking about this a couple weeks ago, but right here, that's you know, you can see that high volume low that's sticking out 297. And right now we are 350. We go to the SPY. I suspect we're going to see the same type of setup. Put this on a weekly for a second. Come on, I don't like this chart. I don't know why they do these charts. I just hit the wrong letter when that happens, folks. Uh, so take that. Okay, here we go. So that number, yes, yeah, oh, there it is right there, I see. So 
The number in the spy is 371. We'll see how it shakes out. That's, you know, the first, the first leg down could get you into the, lo into the lows of the last low. You go sideways, you build some more cars, you get down to that next level. Gold, we take a look at the gold contract out here, what you're gonna see in the gold contract. Gold contract's trading down $29. Uh, bottom line, you get volume of 124,000. So that's really light volume, that's, that's the bottom line. So you're still consolidating the gold market. Now this is what the mind blower is out here today, there's no doubt. I mentioned it when I just did the updates. So you got gold down $25, yet you got Newmont breaking all time highs. Newmont right now is trading up uh, 291. You get juice behind the move. We were talking about Newmont yesterday because what happened with Newmont, Newmont was coming into its highs with monster volume. And you can see the type of volume it had in a monthly, it was huge. So you're gonna blow away the highs. Newmont's on its way to 98. We go to Royal Gold. You're gonna see the same type of setup in Royal Gold. And what I suspect we're gonna see here, just as I said, um, Royal Gold rising up uh, is up 456. I think the high on Royal Gold is, uh, 165. Let me see this. I don't think it says. Oh, look at this. No, it's breaking it. Yeah, 147. So 147. And you can see, look, just look at this. <laughs> I mean, Royal Gold's the same way. You got two monster bars. I was talking to Z yesterday. These don't come in singles, folks, okay? These bars, they love coming in triples, man. This thing's going up and away. And I suspect what's going to happen is that you have it change of sector rotation that's what's going on some of the big funds it, 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 see if the big funds they would go into those first and let's go take a look at uh barrack because they would go into barrack but what happens with barrack is that fidelity's owns so much of barrack yeah barracks up 40 cents nothing heavy but the bottom line is that that's what i suspect you see uh, happening out here we go take a look at the yen and of course the yen has that correlation with where gold wants to go the yen's got weaker last night that's, uh, but that's, yeah, that's, that's building costs to go back downtown. You can, you can see the end got up to this, uh, 123, you're at 122.55, and I suspect you're going to build some more cars to basically get down into lower price, which is stronger yen. Dow, Dow Industrials right now are trading, where is she? Dow's trading up 77, NASDAQ is down 10, S&Ps are off two and a half. Stay right there, folks. Uh, we're coming back with our man, Best with Behuli. We are gonna be talking some uh, cap rates, real estate cap rates. We're gonna walk you through a couple spreadsheets here. Stay right there, folks, come right back.